I saw um, that talked about the near the end of your your career and reflected on some of the things that you did. Uh, remember the old Red Bull days? You got drafted by Red Bull. What was it like? Do you remember the day you got drafted? Yes, uh, I actually came from the U.S. Like, I didn't join the camp or something, so okay. they said that had an effect on my on the, on the draft. That's why I, I drifted to number seven. But it was fine with me because I was enjoying that time after the uh, after playing five years in college. So, so I, I didn't mind not joining the camp. And then I got drafted by Red Bull, and I had good mentors there. Uh, our can we call him good? Devon Hart and Nick Finisi. <laughs> no, they're good big men. So, and even Nelson Isaitono was still there. So I think just the toughness that, that I learned from those guys uh, helped me last last this long in the PBA. Was uh, Coach Kurt Collier your skills coach there? Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was. And I, Were you his favorite? Uh, <laughs> oh, we, we got into it for sure <laughs> a lot of times because he was asking – a lot. He was he, mm-hmm. he was asking a lot from us from from doing the skill work, and I was already like, "Coach, I'm, I'm, we're not even practicing yet, and I'm already tired." <laughs> I was like, "This is too much." Yeah. But then, of course, everything was to improve my game, and it, was, it, it worked out in the end. Yeah, I, I thought you guys had a good thing going there with the, the you know Coach Yang and the players you had. Who, who else was on that team? Like Lordy. Sa- Cyrus was there. Lordy was Lordy, awesome. Lordy Tagadi, Junti, Junti, Jim, uh, Wilson. Jim Well. Oh. Le- was Larry? Larry, Salino. <laughs> Are you yes, remember that? that? <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> yeah, Salino Cruz, uh, Junti. Junti was good. All those guys are yeah, tough. We had a good, good team. Players. It's just it's just sad that, that that team had to disband. What happened? So, how, how many years did you play there? I played three. And then they disbanded? No, no, not yet. Not yet. Um, I just got traded to the San Miguel group. I, I say the San Miguel group because I went through all of them. <laughs> <laughs> San Miguel or Mag- was it Magnolia? Magnolia yeah. that, that eventually was San Miguel first. But I wanted to ask you, playing for Coach Yang, you mentioned it already a little bit, but what was it like being a rookie for Coach Yang? That must have been a little stressful. Yeah, uh, it was, but then, like I said, the toughness that he gave us, that he instilled in us, last made me last this long, and it's fun. Coaching doesn't uh, doesn't play around with his words. He'll tell you if you're wrong. <laughs> He'll say if you. I can't say that word. <laughs> Some bad words. Some here bad there. words. Here. Yeah. Profanity, you mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but then, um, for sure, that you'll improve. Mm-hmm. after receiving those and then if I mean he said he also said to us that if, if you don't improve under me you won't improve anywhere else because he, he's just a simple guy this, everything's just straight up mm-hmm. he, s- he seems to the thing I've noticed about his teams whether it be those Red Bull days or the, the recently the Rain or Shine days and now I'm st- starting to see it a little bit with the, with the NLEX team is all you guys, no matter if you're the starter or a star or you come off the bench or he's always switching lineups, everybody seems to play with a, a lot of confidence. Like uh, people aren't – guys that I thought were our role players, all of a sudden they get a little confident. All of a sudden they're doing moves or making shots you wouldn't expect them to make. He gives equal opportunities to the guys. And then every day, every day our routine is 8 to 10, you work on your individual skills. And then 10 to 12, we go team practice. And then – he, he'll tell us that I'm going to give you a chance, so you better be ready for it. So that's why you work on your skills. And then what you do with your chance, and it's up to you. Mm-hmm. If, you've, if you don't perform well, then that's your fault. So He's had a lot of success. I think you know every team he's went to, he's turned around and been, they've been champions or at least consistent contenders. So he has a – I always find it interesting. I'd love to get – I haven't – I've interviewed a few coaches. I've had uh, Tim Cohn. I've had Norman Black. I've had uh, Alex Compton. But I'd like to get Coach Yang in here to kind of – That, would, that would be interesting. A little bit. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think he'd come on here? And yeah, for sure. Talk a little bit? He would. I always have a great uh, – he's always – He's very nice yeah. off, off the court. 
He's very nice. Not very nice on the court, though. Yes, <laughs> if, if you're the opponent. <laughs> <laughs> I, I absolutely love him. I wish, you know, it would have been nice, especially when I got a little bit older. I think it would have been very nice to play for him just because, you know, you're not going to play the extended minutes, but he, he'll give you a chance to play. That's, that's right. You're going to play, like, for sure, mate. Seven in the first half, and then another seven to ten minutes, depending on how you perform the first time he puts you in. So, but most of that, the the minutes are spread out for sure. Okay, cool. I, I always whoever I have on here, if they play for Coach Yang, I always ask them about Coach Yang, just because uh, you know I didn't, I didn't, uh, I never played for him, and I've certainly seen him on the sidelines, and uh, I've heard him talk to me a couple of times even though I never played with them but uh <laughs> it's a good